Division and the distributive property. The distributive property of division states that dividing a sum by a number is the same as dividing each addend by the number and then adding the quotients. Let's take a look at an example. 84 divided by 6. Let's make a rectangular model. Put the dividend inside the rectangle and the divisor on the left side. Break up the dividend, 84, into 60 and 24. We do this because we know that 60 is a multiple of 6, and 6 times 10 is 60, and 6 times 4 is 24. We use these multiplication facts to help us with the division. Remember, division is the inverse operation of multiplication. Both 60 and 24 are easy to divide by 6. Break apart the model into two rectangles to show the sum of 60 plus 24 divided by 6. Label and shade the smaller rectangles. You can use two different colors. Each rectangle models a division. Now you can use the distributive property to divide. We divide each addend, 60 and 24, by 6. 60 divided by 6 plus 24 divided by 6. Add the partial quotients. 10 plus 4 equals 14. So 84 divided by 6 is 14. Let's try another example. 96 divided by 8. The dividend, 96, goes inside the rectangle. The divisor, 8, goes on the left side. We break apart 96 into 80 plus 16. We do this because 80 and 16 are easy to divide by 8. Break apart the model into two rectangles to show the sum of 80 and 16 divided by 8. Now use the distributive property to divide. We divide each addend by 8. 80 divided by 8 plus 16 divided by 8. Add the partial quotients. 10 plus 2 equals 12. So 96 divided by 8 equals 12. We don't have to break up 96 in this way. There are lots of ways to break up a number using the distributive property. For example, we can also break up 96 into 40 and 56. Both 40 and 56 are easy to divide by 8. Break up the model into two rectangles to show the sum of 56 and 40 divided by 6. Use the distributive property to divide. Divide each addend by 8. 56 divided by 8 plus 40 divided by 8. Add the partial quotients. 7 plus 5 equals 12. So 96 divided by 8 equals 12. The answer is the same as before, but the partial quotients were different because we broke up 96 in a different way. It is your choice on how you break up the dividend. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.